A dictionary is not a rule book. It is a record book. The role of a lexicographer when writing a dictionary is not to tell people how they should use words. Their role is to tell you how people actually do use words. How do you get a word into the dictionary? Can you just make up a word? Sure. Start using it, and if millions of other people start using it with you, the word will get into the dictionary. That's how it works. But is that a real word? What about ain't? Well, ain't is a word. How do I know? You said it. I understood it. It's a word. It's that simple. Oh, and it does help that millions and millions of other people have said and understood that word as well. Grammar is not a set of rules. It is a set of patterns. When Pink Floyd said, we don't need no education, there was no misunderstanding. Nobody on the planet, not even you, thought for a second that Pink Floyd was saying that they do need an education. Of course, it would have been different if Pink Floyd said, we don't need no education. Syntax, the way in which words are put together to form phrases, does not work in isolation. In this case, grammar works in conjunction with stress and intonation to create meaning. Grammar is not a set of rules, it is a set of patterns. You might believe that you don't speak with an accent. Well, yes you do. Everyone does. Just because most people around you, including most people on television, speak like you, does not mean that you don't have an accent. If I walk into a Scottish pub in Great Britain and order a beer, they're going to know immediately that I'm an American. How? Because of my accent. Everyone has some accent, including you. Who speaks proper English? Is it a Midwesterner, a Californian, a Southerner, a New Yorker, a Jamaican, a Nigerian, a Londoner, an African American? No form of English is superior to another. There are many variations of English and they are all equal in terms of clear communication of complex thoughts between two proficient speakers of the same variation. Is your question, which form of English is the most common? Well, if that's your question, let's be clear about who speaks English. Statistically, English is predominantly a second language. The vast majority of people speak English as a second language rather than as a native language. So a typical English speaker is someone who speaks an entirely different language as their native language and speaks English as an additional language. Isn't the internet ruining English? No, the internet is helping English to evolve. Languages are always in a state of evolving to meet the communication needs of its speakers. With or without the internet, language change is the norm, not something new. Who decides how English is used? English is not controlled by a governing body or a single authority. English is not controlled by a grammar book or a dictionary. Who decides how English is spoken? You do. You do because you are one of over a billion speakers who collectively decide how the language is spoken. I'm Andy, the Palm Springs linguist. If you enjoyed this video, please click the subscribe button down below. It's completely free. All it does is tell YouTube to let my video surface for you. If you're already a subscriber, thank you. Please leave a comment down below, like and share the video, and you can choose from any of these great videos to see next. See you in the next one.